Hello, I'm Bill Pop, President and CEO of the Anchorage Economic Development Corporation, and thank you for joining me today. This video is part of a series that details AEDC's economic forecast for 2022. Research cited in this video was conducted by McKinley Research Group, a team of respected professionals with nearly 50 years of experience providing research, consulting, and advisory services. In this episode, I'll talk about retail trade. The Anchorage retail sector added back about 300 jobs in 2021, just one-fifth of those lost between 2019 and 2020 due to the pandemic. Now, the sector gradually added jobs as hunker-down orders were lifted, and further rebound occurred over the summer of 2021. However, retail jobs are still down by over 1,000 compared to 2019. General merchandise businesses are the largest subsector within retail trade, accounting for over a quarter of total retail employment, 4,100 jobs in some. Auto dealers and car parts stores contribute about 13% or 2,000 of those jobs, with food and beverage retailers supporting about 11% or 1,700 jobs. Accounting for about 13% of sector employment, building and garden supply stores were the only retail subsector to expand beyond 2019 levels in 2021, adding about 100 additional jobs. A variety of furniture, electronics, healthcare, clothing, and other stores make up the remainder. Four consecutive years of declines in Anchorage's retail employment preceded the pandemic. Weaknesses in the national retail sector drove many of the larger closures, including Sam's Club, Sears, Nordstrom's, and others. Nationally, the sector continues to face significant challenges from the accelerated adoption of online shopping. Additionally, the growing popularity of self-checkout stands at general merchandise and other stores has put downward pressure on retail employment. Nationally, retail is among the industries experiencing the highest numbers of employee exits, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. National retail quit rates reached highs of 4.8% in August of 2021, compared to 3.5% in August 2019. The pandemic has introduced new strains to retail work, including longer hours, understaffed stores, and childcare difficulties. Some companies are offering better pay and benefits to rebuild their staff. Nationally, Target and Best Buy, among others, have increased starting minimum wages to $15 an hour. Now, e-commerce sales accelerated over the past two years. Compared to the same quarter in 2019, third quarter 2021 e-commerce sales climbed 45%, while total retail sales were up 21%. By the third quarter of 2021, online sales accounted for 13% of total retail sales, up from 11% in 2019, a significant rise. Several rounds of federal relief payments to individuals and expanded unemployment benefits under the Federal CARES Act likely mitigated some of the pandemic's impact to, local to the local retail sector. The retailer sector may see continued impacts as the effects of this stimulus wind down. We are projecting an increase of 200 jobs in the retail sector in 2022. To see more 2022 economic forecast videos and read the latest reports, go to aedcweb.com. All projections are based on information available at the time of this report. <music>